Hey, you here? It's the Paul Leslie Hour with a review of Dean Dillon's solo debut, Slick Nickel. Dean Dillon's first solo record came out in 1988, and Paul's got the vinyl LP. And Dillon, that's spelled D-I-L-L-O-N. You got that? Okay, Paulie. A lot of country music fans get into the really great writers, and by great, I'm talking about proven. Dean Dillon is one name you'll hear, and he's been at it for decades now. While he's always had his fans, an influx of people became aware of him when Tennessee Whiskey, that sublime country standard he co-wrote, was busted out and blew up in the hands of Chris Stapleton. It was everywhere. A great song will keep coming back. Tennessee Whiskey has had a lot of life. David Allen Coe did the first version, and then a couple years later, George Jones recorded it. These days, it's one of those songs. Someone may sing it at karaoke. I remember a young black woman knocking me out with her version in Nashville. She sang it right there on the street corner. And I couldn't help but wonder what it's like to be someone like Dean Dillon, to write songs that truly get inside. Then a documentary called Tennessee Whiskey came out to tell the Dean Dillon story. Then in 2020, Mr. Dillon was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame, the highest honor you can have in country music. Dean Dillon, the recording artist, is not as known as Dean Dillon, the hit songwriter. And friends, I'm here to tell you that I don't understand why. You should dig up his records. The first solo album of his, Slick Nickel, is one I've gotten a lot of enjoyment from. Dean told me down in Florida last year that he doesn't consider himself a great singer. Well, I can appreciate it when someone calls it like they see it, even when I don't necessarily feel things are the same way. His singing, in my opinion, conveys a lot of emotion. He knows how to use dynamics and can make a live audience or a person listening to his record at 2.19 a.m. feel like he's speaking to you. I should know. I'm the 2.19 guy. For Slick Nickel, his first solo record, Dean had the late Randy L. Scruggs produce. All of the pickers were top. As Dean said on the liner notes, they brought the songs to life. I like the songs a lot, and you may be interested to know, like I was, that even a great songwriter like Dean Dillon was recording outside material, too. I like the songs a lot, and you may be interested to know, like I was, that sometimes even a great songwriter like Dean Dillon was recording outside material, too. The start-off song, Hey Heart, is super catchy. Dean lets you know there will be some fun on this album. But that's not all. He takes on the Del Shannon song, I Go to Pieces. The song has never been presented more soulfully. It works in Dean's hands. I always liked this tune, but never knew just how great a song this was until hearing the Dean Dillon version. The new War Off My Sweet Baby should have been a hit for somebody. Who knows? Maybe it still could be. When the Feelin's Right is a great Mac McAnally song. It even sounds like McAnally, which is a good thing. It's one of my favorite cuts on Slick Nickel. Hard Time for Lovers is Dean being jazzy, but the storytelling element is still at the forefront. Couldn't you imagine Ronnie Millsap doing this song? I could. Appalachia Got to Have You Feeling in My Bones is pure enjoyment. The lyrics and the melody both conjure the mood of that part of the country. You Sure Got This Old Redneck Feelin' Blue is a song about heartbreak. Some of you may know the George Strait version. This one was written with Buzz Rabin. Buzz is another great songwriter to be aware of. It's great to hear Dylan's version. Still Got a Crush on You is right up my alley. It's just great country music. This is straightforward, but singable and well-written. The lyricist Marty Panzer once told me something Barry Manilow said. A song is something you can sing in the shower. 
Whereas if you need tons of tracks to put together a cut, what you have is a production. Keeping that in mind, still got a crush on you, this is a song. Station to Station was written by Ian Fletcher Kemp. It's a special thing when a great songwriter records another writer's work. When I hear a tune like this, it makes me wonder more about the mind and the experiences of the man who wrote it. Dean's voice is so clear, but undoubtedly true country. His singing is great on Station to Station. There's an art to listening. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, a solo write for Dean, closes out the album. This one feels so personal, and it requires your close listening to get the full emotions and fully grasp the storytelling. Tragedy is a part of life. This somber song is not like many you hear. It's an example of why I like listening closely to albums. I realize that in trying to list what I see as the highlights on Slick Nickel, I've talked about most of the tracks. When people mention Dean Dillon, the same thought usually pops up. Great songwriting. I think there's more to it than that. Check out Slick Nickel. If you don't feel like rustling up the vinyl, it is on Spotify. If what I've had to say interests you, check out my three interviews with Dean Dillon to find out more. Two audio and one video. I'll also let you know that there is a one-night-only event in Huntsville, Alabama coming up on October 9th, 2024. It's called Songs and Stories of Dean Dillon. A lot of great singers from George Strait, Jamie Johnson, Pam Tillis, and of course Dean himself will be there. Now I'd like to hear from you. Which song of Dean Dillon's resonates with you the most? Let me know. As always, thanks for listening. I don't take it for granted.